Welcome to Doing Neato Things in Linux. Alright, so you may have installed Linux alongside your Windows uh, setup and you wanted to dual boot. But what happens, you find, every time you turn your computer on, it starts up in Windows 10, but you don't get the grub menu that you should be getting when you start up your computer so that you can have your choice between whether you want Linux or Windows when your system boots. So in this computer, I've, uh, I'm using an Acer Spin 3 laptop, and I found that a very problem when I installed Linux on this computer. So it was fully installed. You could see that the hard drive was partitioned, but I would start it up and uh, there was no grub and menu to go into Linux. So in this video, I'll, I'd like to show you how to get back into your Linux configuration and be able to dual boot. When you normally turn on a computer, buttons right there, the computer will flash on. It's good. So you'll get this, which is the grub menu. And this, you can select your operating system that you want to go to. So here I can select Mint, Linux Mint, Advanced, Windows, UEFI bootload, Windows boot UEFI loader, system setup. So what you'll need is a USB drive that uh, has an installation of Linux Mint or whatever distribution you choose to use. I recommend Linux Mint. And you install the image to a USB drive or you can, you, you can uh, burn a uh, DVD or a CD image depending on what you want to do. Now, most modern laptops, uh, it's, it's actually just easier to take a thumb drive uh, and install it to that. Now, that's a, uh, that, that's a completely different video on how to do that. But, um, but that's, uh, this is uh, how we do it these days. So we plug that, just find the port here in the computer, or turn it on. And I'm holding down the F2 button. I remembered my password. <laughs> So yeah, one thing with my computer, set it, I had to set up my BIOS with a password so that I can set up the boot mode so that I'd be able to uh, um, dual boot off of a uh, two operating systems and also so that I can boot off the um, USB drive. So that's where you just enter a password and it gives, and then it enables that feature for this Acer Spitting laptop. So this is how I've configured my setup. but I've disabled the password on boot because I don't really want that every time I turn on my computer. And one thing I found was that it wasn't seeing the USB drive. So I put the uh, USB device into a different port. There's ports over here and it didn't see it in the BIOS. So this one might, it might only have one port connected to the BIOS. So I'm gonna exit, exit disregarding changes, yep. So I, you should, if you have a light on your USB device, you should see it flashing when it boots up. So you'll know that it's reading the information off of the USB device. So I got a different grub menu. There's no windows. This is what I want for this demo. So you're booting off of your drive in this case, because I've already got grub fixed on this thing, but when it's broken, and you can't get into your installed uh, Linux installation because you're still booting into Windows, get back in using a live disk, a live USB image, whether it be a disk or a USB device. So it's gonna boot into live mode. So what it's, what it's doing here is with Linux, you can install it onto a USB device and and uh, basically you use the, like, instead of having a hard drive, you can actually run it off of this. And as you can see, the time that took for the, it to load off of a USB 3 thumb drive was really quick. So I'm gonna just connect it to my home network so it sees that. I'll just enter my password. Oh, when you're in your live disk, you wanna do a boot repair. So there's a program called Boot Repair. So I'll have this in the description on where you can find these uh, command lines. All you gotta need to do is copy and paste this into your terminal. 
So we'll put that in there. Enter. Press enter to continue, yep. So let's add to the repository. Just do a, yep, sudo, sudo app get update. You type that in, I just copy paste it. I tend to typo, so I like copy and paste. And then you just highlight copy paste sudo app get install y um, minus y boot repair. Wait, first you gotta, <laughs> sorry. First you gotta enter that in, do the update. And it'll do all of its um, lines of code stuff that, uh, and then just paste that into there. Print screen for the video. And then you just type in boot repair. Spell that right. There it is. I don't know why it wasn't coming up there, but there we go. So get boot repair. So I just simply do recommended repair. And click on that. And that should fix your boot problem once it does that. It might take a minute or two to do the loading screen. Um, like if you can't get into your uh, version of Linux, but it just is not uh, showing you Grub, but you're getting in there, perhaps going in through Windows, you can also go into your your um, your installation and and do this as well. This will install Passbin for folders, I guess so. Sure, you can have my report if you guys want to read that. I don't care, helps you guys out. This may take several minutes. So this is where you play the waiting game. Or change the boot order in my BIOS. Yeah, that probably is. It's just because this thing's in, inside, the, uh, inside the drive. Okay, and then we just uh, reboot the computer and it should boot back into um, your bootloader where you can select Windows and Linux. There, and I restarted the computer and it would go back in. So I just go to Windows Boot Manager if I wanna go into Windows. It's probably gonna do, I don't use Windows a lot, so it's probably gonna be an hour or two of updating now. <laughs> Unlike Linux where I can select where it's gonna update. This goes into, uh, uh, we'll load up into Windows 10. Yeah. So with it, so with this, you can have the best of both worlds. You can have uh, your Linux setup and a Windows 10 setup. I personally, I personally only use Windows once in a while. You know, or if you want to try Linux, which I highly recommend you do. It's great. The freedom um, and, and the software. Also, if your Windows installation breaks, it's a great backup to have on your system. Uh, to have uh, Linux also installed on your system. So that was a thing that caused me uh, a bunch of headaches years ago with Linux. That, that was one thing that kept me for years not using uh, Windows because for whatever reason, it was very difficult to dual boot. But using this, uh, even still, sometimes with your installations, you won't get, uh, it, it gets very frustrating. So what I ended up doing on computers before completely installed over Windows and just used Linux. The best of uh, both worlds with this uh, using the Grub Repair, which will uh, allow you to dual boot. So thank you for watching. Please watch uh, my next video about uh, where I review this Acer laptop computer, the Acer Spin, and give you my review on it, how it does with video editing. And, uh, and these videos are edited in Linux using KDEN Live. Some people like to poo-poo on this video editor. I find it's it does what I needed to do. I've been running mo most of the videos I made on this channel. I've done in KDEN Live, which has made things really uh, work out really well for me. Clicking on the subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up, up, up to date on all the latest videos here on Ottawa Octane. Also, if you like my videos, Please click on the play, uh, on the videos that the YouTube algorithm think is best for you, or some of the playlists on the low corners of the screen, so that 
you can click and watch my videos and watch them all day long by clicking and viewing my playlist.